supporting cells in the brain. Inside the central nervous system, we have even dying cells, the oligodendrocytes, the oligodendrocytes, microglia, and the peripheral nervous system, we have satellite cells, strand cells. Now we can go for WHO classification and the grade to understand better the brain tumors and to differentiate properly between each type. We should know the difference between the different grades of the WHO classification. In grade one, we have certain features. They are least malignant or benign, possibly curable by a surgery, but it may repair after surgery. They are slowly growing non infiltrative with long-term survival. Mostly they are benign agents, like pyrocytoma, the cranial pharyngioma, the ganglioma, and the ganglioma. While the grade two lesions, they are relatively slow growing, somewhat infiltrative, and may recur at our grade. Type of tumor diffuse. Extracytoma, hyalocytoma, and pure oligodendroclides. The three characteristics they are malignant really, with malignant features of cerebral tibia and high metabolic They are infiltrated, not poorly cured, as our grade. And the five like plastic extracytoma, naplastic endymoma, and anaplastic oligodendroclides. While the grade 40 is, they are the most malignant lesions, and the most malignant lesions is rapid growth. By the infiltrative rapid, rapid recurrence that causes stone. Type of this tumor may be the glioblastoma multiform, tiny plastoma, medulloblastoma, and the tiny plastoma. But in grade 1, we have the least malignant, and the grade 4, we have the most malignant. Usually, the nine lesions have certain features of being compressive. In capsulated and non infiltrated with no period of hemorrhagic process. While the highly malignant lesion, like glioblastoma multiform, and it's called the multiform because of the areas of hemorrhagic process macroscopically inside the cells, inside the tumor, they are non encapsulated, they are infiltrated, highly malignant features, unfortunately, associated with the fire. To understand the difference between the supratentorium and infratentorium region, we have to understand the meninges and the meningeal covering from inside the brain. The brain is totally and completely protected by the meninges and meningeal covering, and the meninges have also the four cerebri, which separate the right from the left. So, note the tentorium, cerebellar and the tentorium, which separate the cerebellum from the brain cerebri. Thus, any tumor about the tentorium will be called a supra tentorium, while down the tentorium is called infra tentorium. This is a tentorium above called supra tentorium, and below all this level called the infra tentorium, and here are the supra tentorium. Many lesions could be expected by the side, like the optic glioma, the cranial pharyngioma, and the pituitary tumor, by the mathematical landmark in the MRI or the CT brain contrast enhancer, while meningioma will go to the meninges or the meningeal cavern, and the oligodendroglioma, which appear from the side of the brain. What's behind or downward, it may go with the two sides. Centurion even dynamo, finally, even dynamo, and brain stem glioma also, schwannoma, around the seventh and eighth nerves. We can conclude that sobra centurion, primary, like glioma, meningium, schwannoma, and secondary, metastatic which is the commonest brain tumor. The commonest brain tumor in the adult actually is the metastatic deposits or metastatic lesions. We go subtentorial, and after this, we have the primary of glioma, meningioma, and 
the impact in Korean lesions, which, which occurs usually in the child age group, like the pyrocystic estrocytoma, without glaucoma, and even Okay, and now at the clinical presentation, you can expect the size of the tumor according to the patient presentation symptoms and, and signs. The frontal lobe lesion. Frontal lobe has an executive function like planning and organizing, problem solving, decision making, and reasoning. And the parietal lobe it is responsible for coordinating sensory information like taste, smell, sight, hearing, temperature, and pain, and perce perception also. It responds to internal sensation. Mainly sensation, parietal lobe is responsible for. While occipital lobe is responsible for sight and understanding what you see. Cerebellum coordinates the voluntary movement. The temporal lobe is responsible for hearing, memory, and learning new information, recognizing objects or face, and identify emotion in others. The brain stem carries the most sensitive area of the alertness, blood pressure, circulation, breathing, digestion, swallowing. Thus, any tumor in the brain stem is critical to be diagnosed, critical to be treated surgically, especially it's too much critical. Let's start with the types of the brain tumors. And we can start with meningioma. Meningioma, by its name, arising from the meninges, meningeal covering from inside the brain. This, it may be referral, maybe go central with the false cerebral, or any part of the brain with surrounding of meninges. Meningioma is the most common primary brain tumor, accounting for more than 30% of all brain tumors. 90%, about 90% of meningioma are benign and slow growing tumors. While almost all meningiomas are considered benign, but some meningiomas can recur after treatment and after surgery. Meningioma, again, this is of WHO, that's one or Grade 1 of WHO classification, benign lesion, encapsulated, well defined, compressing, non invading, and surgically resectable. It respects the midline. Okay. It may recur after surgery. By radiology, meningioma go with the midline and go with compression. We can see in the CT the compression of the third ventricle. It respects the midline. If more than or more increase in size, it will compress the uh, ventricle to the opposite side. Again, it go with the full cerebri, even cerebri, cerebri or tentorium, if it go uh, downward. By histology, grade 1 lesion, like pilocystic astrocytoma, also the meningioma, grade 2, below grade diffuse astrocytoma, oligoastrocytoma, oligodendroglioma, grade 3, which is a diffuse high grade, like anaplastic astrocytoma, oligoastrocytoma, and oligodendroglioma, grade 4 of the glioma multiform. If we have Suction or histology, the pathological differentiation of the different grades. We can find the biology of the grade and of the infiltration, genomic loss like p53 loss, and vascular endothelial growth factor receptor expression. It goes with the more malignant tumor, the infiltrating astrocytoma, which is a WHO grade 2. In grade 3, more Proliferation expansion in P16, P14, ERF loss, 
completely derived growth factor amplification and angiogenesis. The glioblastoma multiform, which is the WHO grade 4, associated hypoxia and necrosis, epidermal growth factor receptor amplification, chromosome 10 loss, P10, vascular endothelial growth factor suppression, and microvascular hyperplasia. It is a small part of the differential diagnosis based on the molecular biology of the astrocytoma, neoplastic astrocytoma, and glioblastoma multiform, depending on WHO classification. The astrocytoma are a form of the glioma. It's a new gland of the glial cell constitute the supporting tissue of the brain. The predominant cell derived from the astrocyte. It can arise anywhere in the nervous system, but most commonly in the brain. Astrocytoma may be endolent, may be aggressive. According to the classification or the grading, the tumor grade, it will derive prognosis and clinical decision making. This image of low grade astrocytoma, the enhancement to go regular, it may be encapsulated, compressing, non infiltrating with no areas of hemorrhage or necrosis. Now we can go with oligodendroglioma. This is a relatively rare type of the glioma. The tumor developed from a specific type of the glial cells, oligodendrocyte. This is account to 10% of all primary intracranial tumor and 5 to 25% of the gliomas. Most of oligodendroglioma are slowly growing, benign, non encapsulated interpretive tumors of the white matter, which are usually located far than tracheal. Small lesion. Actually, this is rare tumor. It may go far ventricular beside the ventricle here, beside the third ventricle. Oligodendroglioma, 85% of tumor supra tentorial, affecting mostly the frontal lobe. The tumor is characterized by the formation of foci of suspect degeneration and calcification, and it manifests also with cellular atabia, occurrence of mitosis in the tumor and proliferation of vascular endothelium. On molecular biology, oligodendroglioma may go with IDH mutation and 1P. 19 for deletion. It can go with the grade 2 diffuse, grade 3 and the plastic, and grade 3 is the highest grade oligodendroglioma. This is to confirm oligodendroglioma or rare tumor. It go paraventricular. It go with low grade, grade 2 and diffuse.